celebrating with us. So if you are planning on coming, please see Tito today to get a ticket. It's free to all church members, but you must see Tito today right after service. It's 7.30 this Friday. It'll be a great time and great celebration. Ten years of New Life Pilsen. I'm going to begin by reading from 1 John chapter 4. This was a post on Facebook by a dear friend of mine who's, who's uh, conquering cancer at this moment. And it just this verse just meant a lot to me when I read it this morning. It says, The Lord does not take away your life. Instead, He gives. He multiplies and restores to you life and health. This is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and, is, and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And so we know and rely on the love of God as for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love we come into his presence today just celebrate the love of God right now to celebrate how much he loved us before we even loved him let's pray dear only father we just stand in awe of your presence my father for you are with us lord you are going to move in this service my father you are going to speak to each one and we just praise you for your love we stand in awe, my Father, for you loved us no matter how sinful we are. Your love is abundant. And we praise you today. May you just receive our worship, Lord. As we lift up our hands, as we fall on our knees, as we worship you, may be a sweet fragrance, fragrance to you. We love you, Lord. Bless the service. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, for this afternoon, Lord God, that you have given us, Father God, to come together and just worship you in unison, Father God, as one body. Oh, we know that you're alive today, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord God, that you just dwell in this place.
us so much, God. Oh, to feel the warmth of your embrace, Jesus. There is no better place to be, God, than in your presence. This afternoon, Lord Jesus, we usher in your presence into this place.
Come back on, turn to your neighbor, give him a high five and say, I'm happy to be in the house of God. And once you do that, you can have a seat. We're so glad to have you this afternoon with us. Uh, we're going to be getting ready to collect our tithes and our offering. Also pray for our one-by-one -one cards. Those are people that we've been praying for to come to know Jesus Christ. So I pray that you have written their names down somewhere, someplace, so that they can come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Also we're collecting our tithes and our offering. Later on today, we're going to be collecting our mission offering and our special love offering for our celebration service. But that's later on at the end of the service will be for that. So as you're praying for those that you love to come to Jesus Christ, I pray that you share with them the gospel throughout this week. Um, don't wait because you never know when God is going to call them home. So you want to give and take every opportunity that you have to share the gospel with them. So I pray that um, you have an opportunity this week to share the gospel with um, those people that you've written their names down. Also, as you give of your tithes and offering, know that God has been faithful. God is good. So let's all stand up. Lift up your tithes and offering to the Lord uh, and raise up the names that you want to come to know Jesus Christ to the Lord. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would um, allow us to share the gospel with these friends and families and loved ones and even strangers, God, that they would come to know Jesus, Father, this week, Lord, that this week would be the week, Father, that they accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. I also pray, Lord, for our tithes and offering, God, as we raise it up to you, Lord, that we give you our first fruits, God, that you would bless the cheerful giver, God, as we invest into the kingdom of God, God, that you would bless those that are cheerfully giving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may pass forward and give up your tithes and offerings. Amen. 
Today, the children are actually going to be inside today. They were going to be outside. This was going to be Children's Day for them. And, um, but the rain kind of canceled that out. So all the children will be in the back having a good time back there instead of outside. They're going to move all the games and all the fun to the inside. Uh, so uh, adults, make sure you leave the children alone back there. They're going to have their own time back there playing games. And, and um, that's the no adult zone unless you're part of the children team. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, stay out. <laughs> Just a, a couple of quick announcements as you guys get settled in here. A couple of extra quick announcements. As uh, Mike shared, this Friday, uh, we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary as a church. How many can praise the Lord for that, 10 years? It hasn't been easy, but God has been faithful to us in these last 10 years, and we're going to continue to move forward. So make sure that you get your ticket. And also, today is Mission Sunday. Today is Mission Sunday. We're going to be collecting our offering for missions and also we're collecting our special offering for our celebration service. Whatever you can give to the Lord to help um, with our offset our costs that we're going to be celebrating for decorations and so on and so forth, uh, please uh, feel free to give. But just to give you a testimony of how good God is, let me see here. Here we go. God has been so faithful, and know that as you're faithful to God and you share the vision with the people, God is going to provide. And yesterday, uh, we, we get a check to the ministry for New Life Pilsen Ministry from somebody who works at at and I don't know them. I don't know who they are, but uh, somehow our names and our ministry got onto their giving, and somebody could just give if they want to. And um, somebody gave to New Life Covenant Ministry, Pilsen Ministry, $305. Somebody <laughs> praise the Lord for that. That's when you know you're in the will of God, when strangers begin to give to you. I don't know if this person is saved or not saved, but something in his heart was touched. And he looked at the different opportunities that he could give, and he gave to New Life Pills. And as you see right here, those of you can see, is AT&T. Uh, so God is faithful. There's a worker that someone in AT&T just says, I'm going to give to New Life Pilsen. Now, if strangers can give to New Life Pilsen, how much more can the house of God, the people who are being blessed by the anointing of God that's in this place, give to the kingdom of God and to the work of God? So I encourage you, know that. As you give unto the Lord, God is going to bless you. So as we celebrate this 10-year anniversary, know that God is good and God is faithful to the people of God. Amen? Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, God's faithful. God's faithful. So just keep uh, giving unto the Lord. Also, we like to welcome, we have our team here, one of the teams here that's going to be here from AIM, from Wyoming. Everyone give Wyoming a nice warm welcome here, right? You guys in Wyoming? All right. I want to make sure because some of them are looking at me like, we ain't from Wyoming. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me make sure y'all from Wyoming. 17 hours. They drove 17 hours total to get here. And so we got another church coming in. And our leadership from AIM is here. Uh, Giovanni and Tanika. I don't know if they're in here right now, but are they around here? Oh, there they are. Give them a warm welcome. That's our leaders for the week for AIM. So tonight, we usually uh, welcome them, everybody here around 7 o'clock. So anybody who wants to come out and just welcome everyone, once they, the full team gets here, we'll be here around 7 o'clock to welcome them. And throughout the week, if you're free, just like always, uh, you can come out and help us. We'll be out there doing community work and sharing the gospel throughout the community, working with the children. Uh, so as, as normal, just like for the last uh, four or five years that uh, AIM has been here, uh, we work together with them, so anyone who's willing and, and off of work or free, I know you guys are still in school. We're still in school here in Chicago. We don't get out to like almost the end of June. Amen. <laughs> rough. It's rough over here in Chicago this year. We had a strike and everything threw off the calendar, and so um, the kids are going to be here to the end of, almost the end of June. So pray for us, Wyoming, as our children are still in school, So, but the young people We'll try to come out and hang out with you as much as possible. Amen. So we're just so excited, so glad of what God's going to do. Our summer season has begun. 
And um, we're getting into the summer mode, even though it doesn't feel like it today. Um, but uh, last week, everyone was crying about the heat, how hot it was in 80, 90 degrees, and now it cooled down and raining. So we don't know what we're going to get, summer, spring, fall, winter, all in one day. Amen. So uh, just keep, keep the team in prayer as this week they're going to be out there um, ministering homeless and ministering out in the community and working in the parks and all kinds of different things. So just keep them in prayer. I want you all to repeat after me. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. have your way in my life. I give you freedom to move in this service. I need your gifts and your anointing in my life. Help me to minister to someone this week. Give me understanding as I read.